Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another AI quick tip. And today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to use a uh, Chrome extension known as GLASP in order to create summaries, uh, headlines, uh, tags, everything you want to for your YouTube video. So the first thing you want to do is come here to the Chrome web store. And you're going to download it, just, just search for YouTube summary with ChatGPT and Claude or something like that, and you will get glass like this. You'll be able to tell it by the little icon you have right there. Then you're going to go into the video that you just uploaded. So here I just uploaded a video. I haven't done anything else to it. We uploaded the video, but what I want to do then is just come over here to the video on YouTube, and I want to click on this button, and that will open it up in order to play. We'll make sure that it is paused here. And then once you have this uh, app up and running, up here at the top, or what I found is sometimes this gets pushed down depending on what your machine is and what else you might be running because I'm running uh, vidIQ on here. So it might get pushed somewhere else, but come up here where it says transcript and summary. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here is the button to turn it on once you want to get it running. But what we want to do is go here first to the settings because this is, again, for this GLASP app right here. And we're going to come down here. We're going to leave this alone at the top. But we want to change our AI model to Claude Anthropic right there. So we'll put that in there. I find these gets you better results. And then come down here where it says prompt for summary, and you'll be able to see right here what I put in, and uh, hopefully I'll remember to put these uh, right directly into the description as well. But I say summarize the following in up to six paragraphs, right in the first person in the same voice, tone, and tenor. So I wanted to give me a summary of what is on the page, and then also write in the same voice that I'm using as I am speaking. And it seems to do a pretty good job of that. Now, anything here, of course, you want to proofread it, you want to check it out before you actually put it onto your live page and publish your video. And then we got down here, we have up to three follow-up prompts that you can put in here. So I said right up to 12 YouTube SEO optimized tags. So we're looking for some tags here. Provide in a comma separated format. That's very important. So you can just copy it and drop it in there. If not, it'll give it all to you in like one big lump and it, it just doesn't work out. So we uh, then also put in here right up to nine bullet points summarizing the content in the same voice, tone, and tenor. So again, we want bullet points speaking to me because again, we we may choose to put that into the description of the video. And then we got here right up to 12 traffic stopping hook headlines for this video. And again, you can change any of these how you want. You can change it to whatever you want it to generate. But again, because I'm looking at this specifically for YouTube, I want a summary either in paragraph or bullet point form, possibly both. I want some headlines, and I want there's some headlines that I can choose from, uh, change, modify, however I want. And I also want a bunch of uh, SEO tags in here as well. So you get this all set up. Then again, we'll go back to the page where our video was actually playing. And once you have that all set, you come in here and we're going to click on this button. Now, you may have to log in again. You may have to create an account. You may have to do a bunch of those things. But for right now, I'm just going to click this button and we'll see what happens. I haven't run this for a few days, so it may prompt me. So it did not prompt me to log in. So what it did now is it grabbed a hole. This here, what you're seeing on the screen, is this is the actual transcript from the video. So it pulled the entire transcript out of the video and then it starts down here and we got a, here is a six uh, six paragraph summary of the transcript title uh, right there and I haven't even put in a real title yet because I'm waiting for it to generate one for me so again you want to read through this make sure it's okay if you like it then you can click the copy button here and I'll do that we'll go back into our video details we will pop this in and of course we want to take off this at the top and again uh, read it rewrite it fix it up however you want long paragraphs like this you may want to break them up into shorter paragraphs, maybe one um, one sentence per paragraph. Maybe we want to break it up like that. So then we can come back over here into our Claude again, and we're going to say here, right up to 12 YouTube SEO optimized tags. And so again, it's going to scrub through the entirety of the content, the uh, what am I thinking here? The, um, the actual transcript on the page. We're going to come down here and again, 
look at them, make sure they are what you want. We can come down here to the bottom. And where is it here? If you got anything in here, you can delete them individually or you can just hit the X, delete them all, paste in what they just gave you, take out this first one because that again is the description of what it is. And then you can of course add in any other words you want uh, as tags on top of it. I could put in something like click funnels right there. So we have those. Now we can come back out. We can say here, like, let me uh, give me nine bullet points and we'll let those spit out the bullet points real quickly because then after that we will write 12 headlines. And the reason I don't click this button right now is it's not going to work, I don't think, until we are done with what we have here. So let's say I want to put in both uh, the uh, headlines and the other, I'm sorry, not the headlines, the summary and the bullet points. So I just uh, copied it. Let's see how this shows up in here. Let's paste that in. Okay, kind of runs them all together. Let's see what happens if we use the other version to come down here and click on the copy button. Let's see if that gives it to us in more of a bullet point format. No, it, uh, um, it appears. Anyway, Oh, I, I need to scroll down. Okay, so that gave it to me in a bullet point format. So that's actually better than what I had above here. So we can take this out. Let me see. Where did that go up to? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to save this anyway. So wherever I had to go back to, I'm just, you get it. You get the point here. So we got those all in as our bullet points. And now the last one here, we are going to write up to 12 uh, what do I say? Uh, traffic stopping hook headlines for this video. Again, that one, I should probably change that, maybe get rid of the word hook headlines or define what I mean by that a little bit better. And so then we're going to have our 12 uh, video titles right here. And again, I can just grab one of them, uh, modify it however I want to, get some ideas. I could have it re-roll it again. We could actually just say, let's say this one here. Um, you know, let me see. I mean, give me um, five more headlines. Let's just see what that is. And maybe it doesn't like the word that we're using headlines uh, because what is it actually called in... Um, in over here, just called titles. So give me, um, give me six more video titles. Maybe you'll like that better. I don't know. Uh, so you just got to play around with it, test it a little bit, and see what it comes up with, and mix them, match them, take one exactly how it is, paste it in over here, fill out the few other things you need to, set your uh, thumbnail and then your playlists and away you go. So that's it. It's a great little tool. It's known as GLASP and it will help you out immensely and very, very quickly being able to pump out some content onto YouTube. So if you've got any questions, just let me know.